Hi, this is Brian Gracely, and in this video, we're going to talk about uh, open source for cloud computing. And one of the things that is hotly debated, discussed, is you know what's the right way to deploy your cloud computing environment. And I'm not going to take a kind of a, a position on this one way or the other. But what I want to do is use this video as a way to sort of give you an update uh, because there are a ton of open source projects related to cloud computing, whether it's at the infrastructure layer or the application layer or you know sort of the management in between, um, that are worth understanding kind of what they are, and obviously I can't cover all of them, I don't have time to cover all of them, but I'm going to cover a lot of the major ones and sort of I'm going to try to put them in buckets for you so you can go do some research on your own. Um, obviously the decision to, you know, to buy things from a commercial vendor versus uh, to use open source as your, as your way of, of building clouds, deploying clouds, leveraging services is a decision that you have to look at both from a technology perspective and a business perspective, uh, but this video we're going to sort of take a look at the open source side of things. Um, you know, we can look at other videos that look at some of the different vendor specific things, but, but this is going to be about open source. So first and foremost, let's kind of look at the buckets in which a lot of the open source projects, if you will, are kind of going into. So um, you know, we sort of got, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make a big bucket here, I'm going to call this cloud management. And by cloud management, let's say this is infrastructure, you know, managing the infrastructure for clouds. So we'll, we'll call that infrastructure. Right. Um, we'll put a bucket up here, and we'll call this sort of multi-cloud uh, management. So you know the management framework that you might want to have to manage resources across multiple clouds. Um, let's put a bucket over here, and we'll call this DevOps, which is really a, a big bucket and maybe not the best name for it. But but the tools that a lot of people are using to sort of more dynamically manage these environments. Um, let's put. Uh, Let's put the network in the middle here, um, you know, and, and look at you know what are some of the tools from a networking perspective that are fitting in there, and then I'll have to figure out if there's a miscellaneous bucket as, long as we go along that makes sense. So let's start here. This this tends to get the most visibility from people and most name recognition. So in this bucket, there's a number of very large open source projects that are going on that people can go explore, and they all have kind of the same purpose in terms of being able to say, I want to take all my infrastructure resources, compute, storage, uh, the network, and, and build them as pools of resources. Um, but they all do them a little bit differently. They are, they're built using different development frameworks. Uh, some of them have different API strategies. Some of them are, are driven through different uh, licensing models. And that's worth you going and taking a look and exploring. So let's just sort of look at these in no particular order. Uh, OpenStack fits into this. Um, CloudStack fits into this. Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus. Uh, Open Nebula. All of those fit into this category that you would consider sort of open um, you know, cloud management capabilities. And so again, some of these are, are, are uh, taken care of by different licensing models, open source licensing models, so it's worth taking a look at that. Um, but all of these sort of fit into that category, and again, what you really want to be looking at, uh, just as general guidance, is you know, do you have the skills, or is it written in a, in a way that, that you can take advantage of it? Do you have those skills? Do you feel comfortable with that? Um, does the licensing model make sense? Does it, does it align with other projects if you're doing open source that align with other projects and what you're doing so you have less licensing uh, types of things to keep track of? Apache licensing versus GPL versus something else. Um, does it have the right APIs that you want to use? So in a lot of cases as we're looking at cloud, we not only want to think about the, own, the cloud we build maybe in our own data center, but can I leverage multiple clouds? Can I use you know, in-house private data center, public cloud, multiple public clouds, and may want to move resources back and forth, um, you know, are they going to leverage the APIs to let me use the tools that let me do that? Or am I sort of locked into a single API structure and so on and so forth? So worth taking a look at APIs and so forth, has that, how that affects it. And then take a look at you know, how big is the community? How robust is the community? How many people are contributing to it? Uh, where has it been deployed? Has it been deployed mostly in the enterprise? Has it been deployed mostly in service providers? Is it a mix? You know, so what business problem are you trying to solve? Um, and how comfortable do you feel with how robust the community is around this? Because that's ultimately going to help you decide 
you know, am I, is, am I going to be able to contribute to it? Am I going to be able to get patches and things fixed? Are there consulting services that I can leverage that are out there? Now, um, from a network perspective, you know, there's a couple of things that are out there. The most, um, uh, you know, the first place to start is within the server. So we want to look at Open vSwitch. And Open vSwitch is the open source version of some things that people might be familiar with, like the Cisco Nexus 1000V or the VMware uh, distributed vSwitch or VMware vSwitch. This is basically an open version that will run um, uh, with the hypervisor in the server to give you switching capabilities. Um, that's probably the most core thing. Now, then we're seeing, as we move into things like OpenFlow, uh, projects like Floodlight, um, which is a project that was originally created uh, for the Open Networking Foundation by a company called Big Switch Networks. But if you're into OpenFlow, you're looking at some of the controller-based technologies. That's worth looking at. Um, but you know, between those things, and then there's some other stuff that's going on, again, in Quantum, within OpenStack. Um, all those are areas from an open source networking perspective to take a look at. Okay? Now, if we look at multi-cloud management, this is really where we want to be looking at sometimes tools, but also we want to be looking at um, you know, the APIs that people are doing. So do they support the AWS API set, you know, S3, uh, EC2, um, you know, all of those? Do they support the OpenStack APIs? Um, are they supporting, you know, in some cases, VMware APIs because we've got a mix of, you know, on-premise and off-premise. So, uh, you know, as you're looking at those multi-cloud management tools, some of them are open source, some of them are SaaS services, but you really want to be looking at what's the number of APIs that they support, and, and those APIs should map to the types of clouds that you want to deploy. Now, as we start looking at the DevOps tools, you know, the most common ones that we always hear talked about are going to be Puppet from Puppet Labs. Uh, Chef from the guys at OpsCode, uh, and then things like uh, CF Engine. And again, all of these are really kind of DevOps tools. And then um, you know we're starting to see something called Juju, which is a tool set coming from Canonical. But again, a lot of these are looking at that DevOps, that ability to think about infrastructure as code, to be able to automate all the way across all these environments and do it in a way that, that's much more manageable and really brings together my development teams and my operations teams. And maybe the last couple of buckets to look at, there's a whole set of buckets that would fit into what you might call big data. And this is a, probably a talk that should be all in and of itself. But this is where you see a whole bunch of things around Hadoop, uh, you know, Hive, Pig, you know, if you go look up Hadoop, you're going to see all these different tools that have evolved out of uh, Google's MapReduce, uh, what uh, Yahoo did with, with uh, Hadoop, and a lot of different projects that have come out of there. And again, these are all sort of in the Apache Foundation. The final one to look at is the sort of platform as a service or PaaS environment. This is really kind of the application space. And this is where you're seeing vendors like Cloud Foundry, um, from VMware, but that whole community really building uh, an application, a next, gener next generation application framework to be able to take a look at that. But you're also seeing other vendors who are leveraging open source technologies like Heroku and uh, like Engine Yard and a whole bunch of other folks that offer this as a service. So uh, the application space uh, evolving, PaaS is evolving. Uh, the cloud management space is, is becoming very, very mature. Uh, the networking space is starting to evolve. Um, the cloud management space, again, is really being driven off these APIs, and you want to look at which cloud you're looking to, to take advantage of. And the DevOps space has, has been very, very mature. And, and uh, these, these vendors, these, uh, these projects continue to mature. They continue to get new capabilities. So if you look at this, um, a lot, a lot of capabilities from an open source perspective for building clouds, um, a lot of capabilities to choose the right framework that you want to use in terms of development frameworks, in terms of, say, Linux distribution that you want to use. Um, you, know, you want to take a look at which licenses they're being done under. Do they align to what else you know, you, you're looking to do? And then you want to look at, you know, are there people out there 
that can help you if you want to contribute. Does the, is the community active? Is there consulting services that you can leverage? Uh, but lots of different things out there, and I'm, I'm definitely missing a few in here. But just to give you a few things to go look at as you're looking at the open source sort of guts that are building a lot of these cloud computing environments. Hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching.